All right, welcome back. We are going to go over each of these slides together and we are going to really learn how to play these. I'm not gonna play them along with the recording in this video. I want you to be able to count in your head how the rhythms go. And then once you put on the recording, it'll fit right in perfectly. You may have to practice it a few times with the recording, but if you know these four simple patterns in your head before you go to record, it'll make the process sound a lot more musical and it'll go faster too. So let's start with blowing in the wind. So down here below this circle line, the line that goes along with the circle, I should switch colors here. Anybody here know how to switch colors on notability? There we go. Okay, so we go through there. This line is going to be your bass drum. So again, that's where you hit it. Okay, so we start with the note there. And then up here, this line with the X, this is going to be your shake move right there. So this one's going to be pretty simple. It's going to go first bass, then shake, then bass, then shake. If I'm counting one, two, three, four, it'll go like this. Bass and shake. So I take the hand that's really good at moving things, my dominant hand, for me it's my right hand, and I use it to shake, and I use my other hand to slap it on the bass. So bass, shake. So like if I count you, I go one, two, ready, go. Bass, shake, bass, shake, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so you can just do this without even thinking about it. Walk around your house, annoy the people you're with all day long. All right, let's look at pattern number two next. Pattern number two is for lean on me. If you look, it's really, really close. Remember, it starts with bass, then shake, and this is the only difference. There's two basses now. Oh, that's funny, it looks like a little guy right there. Anyway, there are two bass notes and then another shake. So the pattern is still very similar. Bass, shake, bass, shake, only this time it's going, oh, sorry, dominant hand, so I run the right hand, bass, Shake, bass, and shake. Bass, shake, bass, and shake. Same thing with this. You want to do this over and over again so you don't even have to think about it. Shake, bass, bass, shake. All right. Next slide has us for Here Comes the Sun. And you notice now there is nothing on this bottom line here. There are no bases for this one, or actually the next slide as well. But there is uh, two shakes. There's a rest, shake, rest, shake. So getting that rest is important. It can be hard for elementary students to really, to start on a rest. They want to play on the start, but we don't start on the, we don't play on the start. We rest on the start. So I go one, two, three, four, rest, shake, rest, shake, rest, shake. And we're doing a video. I'm going to be saying the whole time, rest, shake, rest, shake. But this, if you do anything else, if you learn anything else, knowing how to just shake or clap or stamp on the two and the four, is gonna be so helpful for you if you wanna be very musical in a lot of different styles. So focus on that. Rest, shake, rest, shake. It's gonna look different because I actually made an error. For Stand By Me, it's very simple. It just goes rest, shake, rest, 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 shake, rest, rest. So Here Comes the Sun was rest, shake, rest, shake. Stand By Me is rest, shake, rest, rest. So it's actually simpler than that. That's good you get to end on the simplest song. You'll be tired by the end. It's a long six minutes to play percussion is a long time. Anyway, good luck.